Yeah, what an absolutely delightful yucky morning here in Paris. Should we go somewhere a little bit more sunny? So I'm flying with an airline today called Air Caribs, who are a fringe West Indies airline. So today I'm taking a ride on the Airbus A350 in the business class. It was also called Madras class, which sounds pretty spicy to me. First stop today was the lounge. Air Caribs used the Eye Care Lounge, which despite the name is nothing to do with having your eyes tested. The lounge isn't that bad, but the food selection wasn't the best. They did have coffee though, which was all I needed this morning. Rapes operate mostly in the French West Indies. They've got a fleet of ATRs doing regional flights over there, but they also do um, a couple of A350s they have, um, which they fly from Martinique and Guadeloupe over to Paris Orly. And it's one of those I want today over to a place called Pointe à Pitre in Guadeloupe uh, in the French West Indies. Right, time to head to the gate. I head over to the Air Caribs A350 to take me over to Guadalupe. My ride today then was this Airbus A350-1000, which was the first built A350-1000 and was used by Airbus as a demo aircraft until delivery to Air Caribs a year ago. Air Caribs offer a reverse boarding process with economy passengers boarding first and business class right at the end. Like many places right now, Guadalupe needs you to have a Covid test within 72 hours of departure. As always, this was a really simple process and I simply showed my results to the agent at boarding who checked them and let me straight through. Board the Air Caribs A350, then heading to Guadeloupe, and it's quite a nice plane actually. Gotta love the A350's windows. There's massive, huge windows. This is a 1000 actually, as well. It's quite a nice business class seat. 222 config. Um, not a seat that I've actually seen before in anything else, so I'm looking forward to having a look around this seat and seeing what it does. But it seems pretty nice so far, at least. So the legroom is not great. And the seats are angled in quite a funny way. I mean, at the moment there's nobody at the side of me, but I feel like I'd be playing footsie with them if there ever was. At the moment, just me though, and I think, I think we're about to shut the doors. So fingers crossed. I think that's boarding complete. Yeah. Today then took us southwest out of Paris to cross the Bay of Biscay into the Atlantic Ocean. We crossed the Azores and headed straight towards Guadeloupe. Flight time today was 8 hours and 7 minutes at a cruising altitude of 37 and 39,000 feet. So 
So then, airborne out of Paris. Quite a comfortable seat. Um, leg room isn't necessarily the best. And it's really weird as well because it's sort of um, on this side you lift your legs up, on the aisle seat your legs go down, it's a bit weird. Not quite sure how that's going to work with the bed, but the seat, no, eh, it's okay. 222 config. We've got the um, controls for the seat just here. Pop it into relax mode. Got my relax. We've got power, headphone socket, USB, lovely set of headphones actually. It's not focusing on that, is it? A350, it says A Caribs, nice big TV screen. And you know what? Let me show you. Tail camera on the plane. I do love a nice tail camera. Press on the A350. Such a beautiful aircraft. I'm going to put the bed down, have a relax for a bit, maybe get a bit of work done on the way over to the Caribbean. So then the appetizer, it's some sort of um, sushi, the looks of it. I like sushi. I'm not sure I'll be able to eat it with the chopsticks though. You know, in a time when a lot of airlines are cutting back on their costs when it comes to meals, um, it's really nice as the Air Caribs haven't really cut back on anything. It's a nice full meal service. So it just goes to show that airlines can still provide a really decent service even after the COVID situation. And they can do it safely. You know, we've got sealed cutlery, we've got food with lids on and stuff, but it's still a good service. Just really goes to prove that you can still provide a really good service in business class and do it safely. So I'm going to try out the flat bed, I think. Let's pop it into night mode. Unfortunately, Madras class comes with a really nice pilau to rest my head in. And also, just in case it gets a little bit gel freezing on the flight, there's a duvet as well. Now, I have to say the flatbed isn't the most comfortable. It's very bumpy and lumpy, um, and there isn't a great deal of leg room, although I can lay almost flat down on it. It would be bad on an overnight flight, for especially like on my way back from the Caribbean like later on this week. I'm going to be flying on the same plane overnight, so it's going to be nice actually to get a decent night's sleep. Hopefully. Um, Shelled room isn't the best, but it's a 222, so it's kind of what you expect. And if you're traveling as a couple, then it's, you know, nice that you can actually fly with your traveling companion at the side of you. All of Air Caribs A350s have Wi-Fi on board. It works well, but it's pretty pricey, and I ended up paying for the $29 200 meg package, which lasted about half the flight, followed by the extra $17 for the remainder of the flight. A 
mini ticket. I mean, it's made out of like wetsuit material. It's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Toothbrush, what the hell are those? I don't know. I've no idea. Some weird shaped things. Plastic bag. Earbuds. A pair of socks. Another one. A nice Air Caribs comb. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to check out my video flying the world's best business class, Qatar Airways Q Suites. The link's on the screen now. Despite the eight hour flight, we were in fact still in France, a fact that I was reminded of by seeing this Air France A320 that operates flights in the West Indies. My flight to Guadeloupe worked out at £989 each way or about US$1200. dollars. This worked out at a cost per mile of 24 pence. Overall I was pretty pleased with Air Caraves. The seat wasn't the best but the surface more than made up for it and the food was incredible compared to the reduced pickings many airlines are offering right now in the name of COVID. I'd like to say a big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. By now I don't think I need to tell you how much a VPN product helps to protect your data when you travel in the world connecting to public Wi-Fi in the most remote regions. Using a VPN also lets you catch up on entertainment from your home country wherever you are in the world. For me, it's great to be able to watch Netflix shows from home while I'm in Asia. I am never going to financially recover from this. Or watch live TV from the UK while I'm sitting in an airport in Canada. With Surfshark, you can browse the web just like you sat in your living room. There's also countries out there that censor your internet access or even block websites such as Facebook. But with Surfshark, you just click on the connect button and you're online, unrestricted. Some public Wi-Fi stops you from accessing streaming services such as YouTube and Netflix unless you pay a higher price for access, but with Surfshark your session is completely encrypted so you can sit and watch your favourite YouTubers even on the cheapest packages. Surfshark are offering you a cool 83% discount and 3 extra months for free when you use the link below with promo code Noel Phillips. So then here in Guadeloupe, Guadeloupe is the beginning of my little adventure here in the Caribbean so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single one of the videos. I've got some amazing stuff coming up you're not going to want to miss it. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching, take care and I'll see you next time.